Good day everyone. Today, we are going to discuss multi-hop wireless networks. I am Mahid M. Manguntarum from the Mindanao State University main campus in Marawi City. According to Perkins in 2001, multi-hop wireless networks are autonomous systems of mobile nodes connected by wireless links. In this case, the nodes are classified into number one, mobile terminal such as mobile phones, computers and laptops, and personal digital assistant which have router communication functions for other terminal. Number two, service terminal that acts only as a router for mobile terminals. In a multi-hop wireless network, two nodes can directly communicate with each other if they are close enough or through one or more intermediate nodes that double as routers if they are not within radio range. Let's take a look at this figure. Notice that for this node to be able to communicate with this node on the other side, the communication must pass through a number of mobile and servant terminals. This is the fundamental concept of a multi-hop wireless network. As stated earlier, multi-hop wireless network is where messages must traverse multiple nodes before reaching their destination. Hence, the wireless relay nodes must serve as intermediate steps for relaying schemes and must be part of the mechanism that allows interference management schemes. Further, compared with other networks with single links, multi-hop wireless networks can extend the coverage of a network and improve connectivity. Basically, if there is no direct communication link between the source and the target, it is possible to pass through one or more intermediate stages on the way to the target. This phenomenon is known as multi-hopping. Due to the variability of the wireless medium and the mobility of the nodes, multi-hop wireless networks have the following characteristics namely asymmetry, time variation, and non-transitivity. The two types of multi-hop networks which use the concept of multi-hopping are the mobile ad hoc networks and the multi-hop cellular networks. The mobile ad hoc network consists of a group of mobile nodes that communicate without requiring a fixed wireless infrastructure. On the other hand, the multi-hub cellular networks provide a promising solution to the problem of improving coverage and throughput. The multi-hub wireless networks have a number of applications in information technology and other industries. For instance, it plays a vital role in emergency first response and can be used in battlefield communication. It can also be seen in our public safety systems, in cellular networks, and in different organizations. 